Alrighty, my students, I have two numbers put over here. I have the number 35 and I have the number 24. And I've made it so that the tens are in purple and the ones are in pink. Um, and that's just so that we can see those separated a little bit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put these into expanded form, which at this point we should all feel really comfortable with. 35, if I wanted that in the expanded form, I could say 30 plus 5. And 24 would be 20 plus 4. Because for 35, we know that there are three tens in there and five ones. 24, we know there's two tens and four ones. Okay, so this seems pretty normal. And these are only two digits. We can even do this into three digits. You guys are doing great with that. Um, let's add another layer. So I've been talking to you guys about how um, I want us to feel super comfortable with this because we are gonna be building upon this idea. Well, here is our first jump into building on our expanded form, our place value understanding. 35 and 24. What if I said that I wanted you to add 35 and 24? Now don't freak out. You guys have the skills to be able to solve this. Um, and I'm super confident that today you're gonna say, oh, oh, I can do this because I can solve this using my understanding of place value. So I have 35 plus 24. I have now spread that out into 30 plus five and 20 plus four. Well, what if I think about um, solving this problem and then the answer to this will also solve that? Let me explain. Five plus four, well, we know that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And 30 plus 20, well, 30, 40, 50. Oops, I want to make sure it's purple. Oh, well, this is in the expanded form. We just now need to put this back into standard form. 50 plus 9, 59. Hey, whoa, we just solved this problem using expanded form. That's crazy. Let's clear this off and let's do another one together to see if it's going to work again. Alrighty, I've got a clear board um, and I'm going to write another two numbers in standard form over here. Um, let's write 48. Oops, I wanted to make those a uh, different color. There we go. So tens are in purple, our ones are in pink. Let's add another number to this. Let's add, how about 20, 24. Some nice even numbers. Okay, let's not worry about that we're going to add them together. Let's just go ahead and make them into the expanded form right away. 48 plus 24. Well, if we spread out that first one, that is 40 plus 8 and 20 plus 4. Okay, well, let's solve this. We know that we want to add it all together. Okay, 8 plus 4, 8 9, 10, 11, 12, okay. And then 40 plus 20, well, 40, 50, 60. And now we just need to add these together. Well, I've got six tens over here and I need to add a 10 and two ones. So that would be 72. So our answer would be 72. Because if we had this in our um, tens blocks, it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, and we need to add this to it. So there'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then two ones. So 72. Wow. That was crazy. That was some fantastic math. Let's do one more together right now. Awesome. I have a new equation over here. We want to add 45 and 28. Well, again, let's go over here and think about that in its expanded form. So if we were to take this, we want to think about this as 40 plus 5 and 20 plus 8. Because that's the expanded form versions of these two. And then let's go ahead and solve this over here. Uh, 8 plus 5 or 5 plus 8. Addition's nice because it doesn't matter which one you start with. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. And then now I need to figure out what 
40 plus 20 is? Well, 40, 50, 60. Oh, now I just need to add 60 plus 13. And that's pretty similar to our last one where we were thinking about, I think we were at 60 and then we added um, some more to it. Plus 13. Hmm. Okay, 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we have, here, I'll do it in pink just so that we can see the difference. 1, and then 1, 2, 3. Okay, so if we add these together, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oops, I want to keep making that the right colors. 7. And then there's these three left over. So we solved 45 plus 28 equals 73 using expanded form. Okay, now that we've done this a little bit, I want us to do some practice in our tiger books. So go ahead at this time and grab out your tiger books. For this first time practicing this new skill, I'm only going to have us do two problems. Down here it says the new hundred. We are not yet working on that. So you can go ahead and put an X on number three and number four. Uh, we are not going to be doing these. I just want us to do these two problems and I'm going to walk you through how to do them right now. And then I want you to go try and do it on your own. So for this first one, it says, Mr. Green puts 56 peppers in the vegetable bin. Mr. Green or Mrs. Green puts 28 yellow peppers in the bin. How many peppers did they put in all together? Now I'm gonna write the equation for that over here. So Mr. Green started with 56 and then he added 28. 56 and then there was 28 added. Oh, so we need to think about the expanded form for this number. 50 plus six, oops, here I'll make that pink. And 28, 20 plus 8. And then my job is that I need to solve this before I can solve this. Because the answer to this is going to help me figure out the answer to that problem. And the only reason that I'm using my whiteboard is that I wanted you guys to be able to see it really easily in the camera. I would like you to rewrite this in your spot. And if this isn't enough work um, space for you, then you might need another piece of paper. You also, if you didn't make your X's too big, could use this space down here. Um, let's go ahead and look at the second one. So I set these up and then I want to see if you guys can do it on your own. This one says Mrs. Green stacks 43 tomatoes. Mr. Green adds 39 more. How many tomatoes do they stack in all? So I'm going to write the equations for this one so that you guys can just do the work on your own. So for this one, it's 43 right there. And then they add 39. Awesome. If I think about this, I need to think about the expanded form. 40 plus 3 and 39. 30 plus 9. And if I can solve this, then I can solve this. So these are the two problems that I'd like you to do. This is on page 87. I'm sorry, I didn't say that right at the beginning. 87. Um, so you're going to be doing page 87 and you're only going to be doing the first two. You're only going to do those first two problems. Um, I don't want you to do these next ones because they get into the hundreds and I only want us to be working in two digit numbers right now. I don't want us to be working in three digits yet. So you only are supposed to do page 87, the first two problems. If you've been following along with this video, then the equations are right here. You could even pause the video and rewrite this into your page. And then remember, you need to solve these first, your expanded form. And if you can solve that, then you'll be able to solve those original problems. Um, awesome, guys. Let me know how this goes in our afternoon meeting today. I feel very confident that you guys are going to do your best if you can take your time Go nice and slow and use those expanded form understanding that we have to be able to solve these two-digit addition problems. I love you guys. You are awesome and have a great time today practicing this new skill.